Have you ever wanted to change some of your VTubers eye colors or maybe their hair? Maybe you want your model to cosplay as another character. One of my tutorials went very, very viral and it was to show my process in making Farina and then updating the model to change one of her eye colors. I did it all in a live 2D program that is used for riggers of VTuber models. I received a message that was asking about changing the eye color within the VTube Studio app, not the live 2D application. And you absolutely can. This would also allow you to toggle it on and off. This is what we'll be exploring in this video. The VTube Studio app is the app I'm using right now and is what hosts your 2D VTuber model. That means VTubers, I'm talking to you. It's not just for riggers or animators. People on my stream would say, you should dress up your character as Princess Peach or you should dress them up as Gojo. We'll explore those later on. This can be a really fun redeem. On Twitch, it is very common for a bunch of VTubers to change their hair. So this is the same thing, but with a theme. And the reason I call it a cosplay is because my character does not look like that character. It looks like my VTubers try and dress up as that character. So let's go to the example. This is my VTuber cosplaying as Princess Peach. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but I'm working with what I got. Not adding any elements to my model, just using what I already have. Now this is not something you can do. You can't change the hairstyles. This has to come with a model. I made myself a short hairstyle, but because I have a short hairstyle, look, I can give myself a Gojo effect. Yes. We'll get more into this later, but what I really love is that the eyes still have this ombre effect because of the multiply and screen color thing I played with. It doesn't just look like a complete overlay over the eyes. They're still keeping some of the artwork. Let's get to the tutorial so you can do this too. So what you want to do is double click on the page, click over here for your settings, the gear button, and then you can click up to the third one. You will be brought to this page. Now, if you go to this bottom link right before movement configuration, there's something called customize model and you can click customize multiply screen color for art meshes. When it's finished loading up, you'll get this pop up that says many artists do not want their art to be modified and it can be considered rude to do so. If you recolor parts of your model and you didn't draw it yourself, please make sure to have the permission of your artist. So just make sure you have your artist permission before we continue forward. Let's say I'm trying to find this, this hair. So it'll come up at the corner, it'll say L spike top color. Cool. So I can filter that name. Um, I can also just click it and it'll come up. But you can see there's a couple of things that come up because there's things behind it. So for something like the eye, it can be very hard. You can see here, face line, blush, face, hair shadow, nothing with what I'm actually looking for here. So that can be a lot more difficult. And in this example, it's at the very bottom. A tool though that you can do, let's say for this one, make it obvious if you click the i button it'll start beeping in colors to show you what it's talking about we have top back hair it's talking about this thing but here so this will help you a little bit again it's sometimes not foolproof i have noticed when things are kind of small it's hard to really see the beeping so much so just try your best for me i know what i'm looking for i'm looking for alternate eye so i'm just gonna type down alternate eye and then i can start changing whatever i want sometimes too because the beeping doesn't work what i do is i just like click whatever i'm like okay this is close enough i don't know which one i want so let me just keep changing until i can see oh okay there's the hair lock line that's not what i want what about maybe this one hair lock color oh right okay that's what i want fantastic i figured it out and you can also do this to freeze your model so that way you can it give me an easier process to select the things that you need to select and that's clicking this little freeze button little snowflake button so if i click over here cool toggle it on and here is where i can play with the colors this first one is a multiply usually when it's multiply it'll take these lighter colors and give it more i like the multiply more than i like the other one because it usually doesn't take away as much detail I'm going to leave this very light because it is the bottom of the eye and the ombre effect, I have the bottom of the eye be a nicer glow. So let's keep this as a lighter color. Make it more pinkish. Or do I want to give myself pink eye? Nah, nah, let's pick another color. Yeah, let's make a gold eye. And then there's the screen color. So the screen color is going to change this top part, the darker part. Change it up like this. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Mm hmm mm-hmm. I'm giving myself a gold eye. There still needs to be some other changes here. So this back part of the eye doesn't look the best. So let's look up back pupil. I want it to be like maybe a more brownish hue or maybe orangish. I did a lot of coloring and different layers. So there's like another thing back here. That's, that's not going to be the case for you. I have it though. So I have to go to my flower pupil. And I want to have the exact same colors that I used before. 
for the back pupil. So I'm just gonna do paste last multiply color. Okay, wow. paste last screen color and you see now they perfectly match together. Now I have a scary looking eye. I don't really like this color that I chose. <laughs> I also wanna change the sharp effect. So the sharp effect has a little bit of a red on there. Let me change that to just dark black so that it looks nicer. I mean, I could change it potentially, like we can try. I mean, I could change it to white. Oh, white actually looks kind of nice. Ta-da! You know what I'd also like to change? My ear. So I separated the glow effect. And hopefully I can do this as well. Let's see. Let's see how this works out. I just play around until I get something I like. <laughs> Inca cola eye. I don't know if you guys know about my Inca cola. Maybe I can change this one. <gasps> yeah, that works kind of better. My multiply, I could leave it blank. Oh no, I couldn't. Actually, no. It needed some it needed some hue here. But before, when screen color was a default, that looks really bad. It needs some color back. So then I put it up again. And it brought some color back. Ta-da! Now we have a new uh, look. We can change the highlights to gold as well. So we'll just have one side that's all gold looking. Okay. I'm gonna have to work with this a little bit. There we go. There we go. So see, sometimes you have to try again. So if you don't want to lose what you have, double click here. Don't turn it on and off because turning it on and off will reset it. And I want this to just be the same as it was before. Again, paste last multiply color. Cool. Paste last screen color. And now they match. Change this one too. The necklace string. Let's see if maybe this will work. Paste last multiply. Paste last screen color. Yay! It's all working. But we're not done. We finished customizing the model together now. Let's go to... This last one here, you just want to scroll to the very bottom. They have a shortcut key, so you can just hit this arrow, bottom arrow key, all the way to the bottom, and hit this plus sign. So by clicking this button, you are creating a new hotkey. We still have to set it up, but then essentially you can toggle this on and off. I'm going to change this, and I'm going to title it to gold. We're going to put hotkey action. Scroll to the bottom and put in art mesh color preset. Record your settings. It'll just, just click this and it'll record it. I like to create my hotkey right away just in case I lose it anyway. Like if I click another art mesh color preset, uh, then this is all gone. It's not saved. So I like to record it as soon as I can. There are a couple ways you can do your key combination. You can, if you're using your phone, do a screen button hotkey. And that's the way you'll set it up. One, two, three, four, five, and then just tap it. You can also just select it using this. I personally find it so quick to just hit record, press the button I want, and then I can turn it on and off. Before you click off, let me share with you one last thing that I want you to keep in mind when you're changing your colors. When you go too far on changing the screen color, you lose so much detail. So you can see on the shirt, there's like no detail at all. It happens a lot with things that are going from a dark color to a lighter color. So if you have any tips on how to make this work, please leave them down below. I'd love to not have all my details gone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if this helps you out. And I am going to be making more videos. If there's other things that you are struggling with or cool ideas that you'd like me to make a video on, let me know down below and I can work on it.